Hey, hello there guys, Proxens here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Y series on the channel. So in the previous episode, we got ourselves another starter Pokemon, which was Bulbasaur, and now I believe we've got to go this way in order to continue on with the story. Okay, let's see here. Hollow Clip received. Alright, we're getting a Hollow Clip here. Oh, Tierno, hey. So, check this out. I'm on Route 5 right now, and I'm just hopping hopping with wild Pokemon. Hurry and come check it out. Oh, wait! I forgot! I forgot that in this game, like, near this point in the game, you actually get the ability to ride, like, uh, not a go-go. What's the pre-evolution? I cannot remember the name, but I'm pretty sure you can do that, like, in this next route here. Let's see here. Hey! Nice to meet you, friend. They call me Mr. Bonding. Have you heard of O-Powers? Uh, that expression of yours tells me you ha okay can't talk sorry uh, the that expression of yours tells me that you haven't don't worry I'll tell you all about it oh powers are mysterious forces that have all kinds of useful effects they can make your Pokemon stronger or even help you get more money uh, any friends you have nearby will also benefit from them uh, they truly are mysterious powers Let's get started, shall we? It's spawning time. Okay, I'm just gonna skip through this because I'm never really gonna need to use these. So I find no point in, like, learning about them, you know? So, skip through that. And I really do want to get to this next route here because I do want to see if I can actually, like, ride a go-go or whatever the pre-evolution is called. What the heck? Why is there a Lucario going around me? Wait, Lucario! Huh? Sorry about that. Are you Okay. Oh, I was just doing some special training with my Lucario when all of a sudden it dashed off. Hey Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn in by this boy's aura or something? Lucario does the car noise. <laughs> huh, well it seems Lucario likes you. Thanks, I guess? See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess something in your aura... Okay, can't talk again. Ah! Something in your aura has made this one take a light king to you, you know? Uh, this Lucario is always getting worked up in a battle with my other one. Maybe it's just been waiting for a trainer to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Oops, sorry, I was on such a roll I forgot to even introduce myself. I'm Karina, the Shallower City Gym Leader. If you're collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I look forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the punches. Okay, okay. So I'm assuming she's going to be a fighting type leader, just just by that. Again, I'm not really, like, I, I'm not that into the exact typings of the gym leaders because I forgot them, you know? I forgot the exact typings of the gym leaders, but what do we have here? Can we actually, like, go on to that? Wait. What the heck? That's cool! Like... Again, I, I've not played this game in so long. I mean, like, back when I first played Pokemon X, it was back when it first came out, so I literally forgot most of this stuff. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Anyways, let's see here. Can we get any good Pokemon from here? No, just a Pancham. I mean, Pancham's a, a good Pokemon. It's just like, I don't really need a Pancham, but I'm probably still going to catch a Pancham because Pancham evolves into Pangoro, and Pangoro is powerful, insanely powerful, so use the workup. I wonder if it has any damaging moves. That, that That's like something I really do need to know in order to like know if I should catch this thing or not, so let's just use a Pokeball on it. We'll see if it has any damaging moves. If it doesn't, then I probably won't use it, you know? So let's see here. One, two, three. Yeah, we caught it. We caught it. Nice, nice. Gotcha. Pancham was caught. Okay, let's see here. Oh, man. Let's see here. Okay. It's data got added to the Pokedex. You know, the basic, the basic stuff when you catch a Pokemon. Let's see, do I want to give it a nickname? I don't think so, you know, I don't think it needs a nickname because I don't really give nicknames to most of my Pokemon unless it's a special Pokemon like uh, our Bulbasaur. Oh, we've already got a challenge here. Opponents, people say we're like two peas in a pod. They say we're two halves of a whole. I'm assuming you're twins then. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, yeah, twins Faith and Joy. Let's see. 
I think I can easily win this battle. It's just a plus one a minimum. I mean, it shouldn't be too difficult. Also, why the heck do I still have Pansage on my team? I probably should have gotten rid of Pansage, but for some reason, I didn't. Yeah, after this battle, I need to really quickly arrange my team because I do not want to continue training up Pansage. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, man, Pansage is getting the damage, though. And, of course, we're not that great against these Pokemon. This kind of sucks. This, this does kind of suck. Let's see here. So, first off, uh, switch Fletchling into... Uh, wait. So, Pokemon, switch you into you. And you into you. There we go. That should do the trick. Hopefully. I mean... Yeah, it's it's a very likely possibility that David doesn't actually have that great of a move on him, so probably wasn't the best of ideas to actually switch, you know? And we also got a crit taken on us. Oh, wait, we got Vine Whip. That's great. That's, that's actually great. Why was I worrying? <laughs> Why the heck was I worrying? Um, Helping hand, all right. Can we do this? They're using quick attack. I don't like it because David's about to get taken down. But, we're able to use Water Pulse, and it doesn't do as much damage as I would have liked it to do. Neither did that, but if, we, if we're if we able to like use one more off of both of them, they should be able to take down the Pokemon. Well, not so much on Froakie's end, but the Vine Whip should be able to do the trick. So, let's see here, let's see here. Okay, that worked out nicely. That worked out nicely. Uh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna be able to get the vine whip through? Imagine it misses. Just imagine that happens. That that would that would suck, you know. Froakie is now level 15, which is great to see. Hopefully, we're able to get an evolution off of Froakie in this episode. I'm gonna try my best to do that, and I don't want Pansage to get levels. I don't need Pansage at level nine. I need Fletchling at level 15, though. That's that's great. That is great. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Please, it worked out. Okay. I want to check something really quickly. I do want to check out what level Fleshling does evolve. I feel like I've looked at this before, but I kind of forgot. And according to this, it is uh, level 17. All right. Level 17 in order to get an evolution out. Uh, wants to learn to move Poison Powder. I mean, I don't really need Growl, and Poison Powder might be good at some point, so I might as well do that. Okay, forgot how to use Growl and learned Poison Powder. Okay, I, I don't need Sleep Powder though. Okay, keep old moves. Give up. There we go. And okay, no more moves. Great. Great. And Froakie's now level 16, which means Froakie is just about to evolve. Like, after this battle, Froakie's gonna evolve, I think. I think. Okay. Gosh, I really. I really don't want to use Pansage anymore, but, like, it's still getting levels. I need to go over to the Poke Center again and just put Pansage in the box, because I don't need the Pansage right now. I'm fine with Bulbasaur. It's a great Pokemon. Okay. Okay. Uh, Pancham got to level 11. And there we go. There we go. We won the fight. So now, Froakie's evolving. Nice to see. Nice to see. So after this, I'm going to head back over to the Poker Center real quick, and we will arrange our team. Okay. The music's nice, you know, the, the evolution. Dun, 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 Frogadier. Nice. Nice. So obviously that's going to be a lot better than Froki. But, you know, th there's there's also a much better form. That's Greninja, and I can't wait to get Greninja because Greninja is going to be a very, very useful Pokemon to have. So let's actually, like, really quickly run back over to the Pokemon Center. Is the power still out? I feel like it might be. Let's see. Yep, the power is still out. Darn. All right, but at least we can go around most of the other areas, right? Yeah, it lets us go around most of the other areas. Hey, look, it's a... what? Okay, it's a Skiddo! 
That's the pre-evolution. All right. I'm sorry, there's a blackout. You can't go until it's fixed. All right, all right. Just, just making sure, you know. So can I use this now? Okay, yeah. I want to use this. I want to use this. Uh, let's go to South Boulevard East. I don't know if that's exactly where we need to go, but I might as well just try it out, you know. Aw, oh, this is nice, you know. We're just riding on the back of a go-goat. This is great. <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully, okay. This is the cafe, so it'll stop. Would you like to get off? No. I want to get off at the Pokemon Center. It's really close by. Like it, The stop is, like, right next to it, I hope. Yeah, it's right here. It's right here, so we're good. Hopefully it lets us stop. Maybe. Okay, this is the video studio stop. Would you like to get off? Yes, I would like to get off. So we're done with that. Thank you for your business. We look forward to serving you again. No, I do not want to go back on to the Go-Goat shuttle. I'm fine. I just want to go over to the Pokemon Center. You know, I just just wanted to, to go over here in style, you know, on the back of a Go-Goat. So let's see here. Uh, someone's PC. Organized boxes. And let's get you out of there. Put you there. Put you there. You there. And actually, no, I'll do it like that. There we are. There we are. So... Now we can actually run over to where Tierno is and see what exactly he wanted us to meet him for because he didn't really specify. He just said there's cool stuff going on, you know? So let's run over there. Here we go. Here we go. Admittingly, I was expecting that to go by a lot faster because I was on roller skates, but it just slowly went there, you know? Like it slowly passed through time when I was expecting it to pass quickly. Anyways, oh, no, 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 please, no encounters. We're good, we're good, we're good. My goodness, Pokemon whores are certainly intense. Uh, yeah, they're just like a dance team made up of Pokemon, aren't they? Okay, you know, Pokemon hordes, they're pretty cool, because sometimes you can get, like, a shiny in them, and it's so cool when that happens. I've never had it happen to me, but I've seen a ton of people get, like, a shiny from a Pokemon horde, and it's great. Okay, Otierno, do you ever think about anything besides dancing? Nope. Even during Pokemon battles, I'm always checking out their moves. You know, you know what Tierno would like? He'd like the Alola region. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Alex. Do your Pokemon know any sweet moves? Show me in a battle. Oh, okay, he's fighting us. But yeah, Tierno would really like the Alola region just because of the fact that he really likes dancing. And then there's the whole dancing for the Z-move thing. So you've got a Corphish. Okay, okay, I'm going to switch over to, oh wait, I forgot to heal. <laughs> that probably should have been something I thought about when I was going to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> oh man, it's fine. It is perfectly fine because we still have this. We still have this fight and the ability to win it. So let's see here, pound, there you go, vice grip, oh man, power. Of that vice grip is intense, you know? It's not it's not really that powerful of a move, if I'm being perfectly honest. It does a sizable amount of damage, it's just not insanely powerful. Unless it gets a crit, then it's bad. So one more pound should do the trick. Yeah, it did. We're good. The corpus fainted and and okay, 159. There we go. Fletchling is now level 16. Only one more level to go. Flail what does Flail do? Uh, okay, the less HP the user has, the greater the move's power. I don't think so. Actually, actually, wait. Forget, and we'll forget Growl, because we don't really need Growl, so I'm not gonna keep Growl. Anyways, there we go, the move is replaced, and Fletchling learned Flail! Okay, we defeated Tierno. Okay, let's see here, let's see here, what does he say? What does he say in relation to the fight? Uh, good to see you, Alex. Uh, excuse me, I mean Alex. You... <laughs> the funny part is, uh, the fact that I set up my name to be Alex and he says Alex for both things. Good to see you, Alex. Oh, excuse me, I meant Alex. <laughs> oh, man. It really does seem as though Tierno can only think about dancing and moves. When a horde of Pokemon popped out, he just stood there watching them. Well, yeah, Trevs. 
Coming up with the world's best Pokemon dance is my dream after all. I was born to dance. I won't ever stop. Not with moves like this. That indeed is a perfect dream for you, Tierno. I guess I should show you... Okay. I guess I should show just as much dedication to my dream of completing the Pokedex then. Yeah. You should, man. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, do you take this, honey? Alright. Thanks. Thanks. But yeah, again. Tierno really should go to the Alola region. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we see him there. Anyways, for now, I'm actually going to end off this episode here, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you aren't already. And as always, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.